This video shows you how to use Cricut Design Space to create a pop-up structure that makes these penguins stand out at different depths on the card. For a rectangular card, start with a square from the Shapes menu and unlock the proportions to convert it into a rectangle and choose any size you want the vertical card to be. Mine's going to be cut from white paper, so I'll change the material colour. I'll add a score line and align it to the centre so it will be easy to fold the birthday card in half. The simplest way to make objects pop up is to use a counterfold pop up mechanism. You just need two vertical cut lines and two horizontal score lines. The only lines in the shapes menu is a score line, so I'll start with that and change it to cut. Group the lines together so they're easier to move and then copy and paste them. So now I've got one for each of the large penguins and I'll move them into position on the centre fold. I'm repeating the process to make the larger section in the middle which will bring the baby penguins nearer to the front of the card. Now I'm going to add happy birthday text and choose a font. I'll set this to draw so the Cricut will draw the words with a black pen. We can add counterfold pop-up mechanisms to the other score lines, not just the centre fold. So I'm going to copy and paste this one, make it a bit smaller and position it up here. I'm going to select everything and press attach to keep everything in the right places when it is sent to the Cricut. I've added a message to the bottom of the card, which I need to attach as well. Now I can click Make It. This is going to be cut from paper and glued inside the birthday card. I don't have the scoring wheel, I have the scoring stylus, which is a lot cheaper. So I'm going to go to Edit Tools and choose it from there. The Cricut will score all the fold lines, write all the words. and then cut out the shapes. 